Fed does talk about diabetes. It's an inability of your body to really handle sugar, and sugar becomes at high doses a little toxic to your tissues. So it can cause a neuropathy, which is an inability to, to feel, and it causes your nerve doesn't function normally. So it causes a tingling and burning and thickness. It can cause balance troubles. It can cause a feeling like your foot is in a vice. So those are some of the symptoms of diabetic neuropathy. And then it can also cause a vasculopathy, meaning that your blood flow decreases. And so then it causes trouble with tissue oxygenation. And that's when it really gets serious as far as the trouble you have with the foot and ankle care of a diabetic. So when it gets to that phase, and sometimes diabetic people have ulcers, if you have an ulcer, if it's in their heel area, it's a big trouble because those do not heal as well. It's harder to offload those. So you worry about that more as a physician being able to help heal that. Second are the ulcers of the forefoot, and those are very common because you generally put more pressure on your forefoot, and those we can treat a little bit better by taking the pressure off of that. Sometimes we can treat that by doing things like exercises to lengthen the heel cord. Sometimes we have to actually surgically take out some bones to relieve the pressure under the ulcer. And then make sure that people have good diabetic foot care, meaning that make sure they're getting examined and looking at their foot daily, making sure they don't have ulcers, making sure their shoes fit, making sure blood work is good, and occasionally they need inserts. So that's the one good thing about having diabetes is generally your insurance companies, if you're on insulin, they will help you get a pair of inserts and shoes yearly.